Hypertension is a silent killer. One in three people will have it. And every 20 on 10 millimeter mercury increase in blood pressure causes a doubling of cardiovascular mortality. As a cardiologist, this is the most common problem we see, yet it is also one of the most difficult to treat. One in eight of my patients will have high blood pressure, despite three or more antihypertensive agents. The kidney nerves contribute to driving hypertension, and by destroying these connections, it may enable us to control blood pressure. The kidney nerves run around the kidney artery. Currently, renal denervation systems use radio frequency ablation from the artery lumen to target these nerves. The problem with these denervation systems is that they have to burn through the renal artery first before getting to the nerves. And you can't burn all the way around the renal artery to get all of the nerves. There's also no way to know whether you've done enough ablation to cause denervation. As a result, patients have inconsistent denervation from these systems and inconsistent reductions in blood pressure. We designed and made a prototype microwave emitting catheter that can be used for renal denervation. It works by radiating microwaves and deeply heating tissues around the artery in a 360 degree fashion while sparing the artery itself, which is kept cool by arterial blood flow. Compared with current denervation devices, it produces deeper ablation that can reach nerves that would otherwise be too deep. This is likely to produce more complete and consistent renal denervation. We've shown that the prototype we've built can be used safely and successfully to perform renal denervation in a large animal model. And when we look at the kidney tissue in two weeks' time, we see that it's been denervated. Now that's exciting. We're planning longer-term study to compare the results of our technology with existing radiofrequency ablation technology. Microwave renal denervation has an enormous potential to help a lot of patients, where it would be a game-changer for the treatment of hypertension.